Hello, I'm Chris. In a previous video, I showed you how to move off quickly in a manual car without stalling. It's an essential driving skill to learn that will help you emerge out of junctions onto busy roads and onto roundabouts safely without getting in the way of others. This time we're going to focus on moving off quickly onto busy roundabouts, taking good, safe opportunities. Whether you're in a car with a small petrol engine or a diesel, I'll show you how not to stall. I'll also talk you through when to go onto the roundabout so that you're not hesitating. Before we do that, here's a quick recap on how to move off quickly. Press the gas and get the revs a little above one and a half. Raise the clutch to the biting point, then smoothly release the clutch as you accelerate more. Pressing the gas more allows you to raise the clutch a little quicker, which makes the car move off faster. Now you know that, let's get back to moving off quickly and safely onto busy roundabouts. Don't forget, it's important to press the gas, then biting point when you want to move off quickly. Hold the biting point for a second, more gas, as you smoothly release the clutch. Roundabouts are obviously easier if you don't need to stop, but it's knowing when to go. It's almost pointless looking at other vehicles' indicators, as a lot of drivers don't bother or indicate incorrectly. These vehicles are coming off, towards where I've come from. They're blocking the vehicles on the right, so I can go. The angle and position of these vehicles was a good indication that they were coming off the roundabout. Pressing the gas more, then smoothly releasing the clutch. Once you're on the roundabout, then you might need to ease off the gas a little. It's always important to be safe and in control. Don't forget that if you release the clutch quickly without the gas, then there's a good chance the car will stall. It's very important that you don't stare to the right as you approach roundabouts, but also look ahead. Or you could drift out of lane, or hit something. See your opportunity? Gas, bite in point for a second, then smoothly release the clutch with more gas. I knew I could go when I saw the angle of this vehicle pointing towards where I've come from. Of course, only go when you're sure it's safe. Knowing when to go gets better with time and experience. Anticipating what the other drivers are going to do next and taking a good, safe opportunity. If you're stalling at roundabouts when trying to move off quickly, then there's a good chance that you're not pressing the gas enough or releasing the clutch too soon. So don't forget, gas, then hold the biting point for a second, more gas as you smoothly release the clutch. You won't get much speed out of first gear, so depending on the size of the roundabout, you'll have to change up to second quite soon. Would you stop or go at this next roundabout? A great opportunity to go. These vehicles are coming round. But these aren't. Gas, biting point, releasing the clutch smoothly with more gas. If you feel a bit overwhelmed by roundabouts, then try approaching them slower so you've got more time to think and plan what to do. If you're unsure it's safe to go, then don't go and just wait until you're absolutely sure. Gas, biting point, hold the clutch for a second, release it smoothly with gas.
Now, although this car is exiting the roundabout, this blue one is accelerating on quite quickly. It wouldn't have been safe to go. Always be ready to stop at roundabouts. And as I said earlier, only go when you're sure it's safe. Would you go or stop? Although this car's coming off towards where I've come from, the red one's coming round. It wouldn't be safe. Don't forget to not only look to the right, but also ahead. Quick glances, but don't stare. Looks quite busy. Gas, hold the biting point for a second, then smoothly release it with more gas. But once you're on, then you can ease off the gas a little. It's important to be in control and to keep in position. Bear in mind that you should only set the gas and biting point when you're about to move off. If you're waiting with the parking brake on and pressing the gas and holding the biting point for a period of time, then you will increase wear on the clutch. You can see these cars are leaning over slightly as they come round. Whereas this one isn't, and is already pointing towards where I've come from. A good opportunity to go. There's a vehicle coming round, but I've got time to go. That was a lot of roundabouts, but I hope it helped. If you want to know more about which lane to use on roundabouts, our other videos should help. There's a link in the description below. For more free driving tips, including all the driving test manoeuvres, and show me tell me questions, then have a look at the driving modules on our website. They've already helped thousands of new drivers, so go and have a look. Well, thanks a lot for watching. It's recommended that you practice everything you've seen on the video with a fully qualified driving instructor. If the video helped, then please press the like button and subscribe into the channel really helps us make more videos. As always, keep safe on the road and bye for now.